you walk into a classroom at Mumia Science Center, opposed to like a social studies or math classroom, you'll obviously see a difference. The room is much larger, it's much more open and airy. It's really compatible for all the labs that we do. They have all different lab tables set up and we have different equipment just at the ready for us. The lab that we were doing was um, the pH lab. So basically we have an acid and a base and we use equipment such as burettes and pipettes to titrate the acid in the base and then we mathematically solve the theoretical pH. Being able to use these facilities and having access to all the classroom lessons and the teachers that we have here at Punahou, I think that we all have a really solid set of scientific skills and even if we don't decide to go into a science related career, I think we can take those skills and apply them to all aspects of our lives. For me, um, science is basically learning how the world works around me. Naturally we are curious and science really helps us to solve those things that we're wondering about. I think that once you get really involved and start to love the subject, as I love chemistry, you just really keep wondering like what happens next and just keep formulating questions. The goals of the AP Environmental Science class is to broaden our knowledge of how the environment affects our lives. We've studied many things, weather patterns, ocean currents, right now we're doing soil. And recently we had an experiment where each student was supposed to bring in a sample of dirt from where they lived. And then we were supposed to test how porous it was, how well it kept water, its texture, its smell, and then we planted seeds and we are seeing what area had the best growing soil. I love science because it's, it's got a lot of hands-on. I find that so much more exciting than uh, note-taking or pencil pushing. class. Our lab was to test momentum and impulse of the um, collisions. So using the readers we would send the tractors through and then it would calculate the velocity before and after the crash. The small things that we do here are basically models of what's really out in the world. When you have the equipment that helps you um, with your learning then it kind of gives you an extra bonus instead of just listening to like a lecture. So when you actually get to experiment with the equipment itself that's provided, you get a sense of like personal relation to it. I love science because it's a fun way of learning. When you get to do the different experiments, it's a lot more fun than just listening to a lecture. Our second graders go down to Gates about every six weeks, perhaps. Whenever the children find out that they're going to go to Gates, they're really excited. They, they cheer and shout, hooray, um, we get to go to Gates today. So it's a big deal. We work closely with the teachers in Gates to make sure that we do something that's an additional experience that the children can actually have hands on, rather than just coming to a page in the textbook and say, Oh, that's too much trouble. Uh, let's skip that page and go on to the next chapter. The children really appreciate being able to do the science, not just talk about it or read about it. Having the test tubes all ready for the children and actually the eyedroppers where they got to touch the chemical instead of just watching the teacher do the demonstration. That's the part the children enjoy most. Going to Gates Science Center gives them an opportunity to interact with Academy students. They actually see them in the classroom. I think it's a very good learning experience for the older ones as well as for the little ones. We were learning about the reactions of matter. They had their canister and they had their little dropper and they put in the vinegar and then the children just put it down and waited to see what would happen. 
they were just astounded, you know, when the lid started popping off and hitting the ceiling. I enjoy watching the children and the expressions on their faces. Just the wonderment as they're watching these things happen, you know, the test tubes changing color, the gas forming and popping off the top of the film canister. They couldn't believe that they were doing that themselves, and they did every single thing. It wasn't just the teacher doing it and showing them. Each child got to experience the thrill of their first real experiment. In the classroom, if you're alone with 25 children, you think, this is really impossible to do with all of these kids at one time by myself. And so to have a place to go to take the kids to do those kinds of experiments rather than just skipping them, I think you know, that's the joy of going down to Gates. The setup was something that we helped plan. We wanted a place where we could do messy experiments, where we could do noisy activities, where we could spread out and have small groups working on different things. And Gates has fulfilled all those needs. Children are natural scientists. They have no fear. They enjoy nature and I think are very familiar with the world around them. If you teach them to be an observant scientist and, and start thinking, why does that happen, and ask questions, they're going to enjoy science, and that's what we want. I'm definitely really appreciative of the facilities we have here. I think without them, my love for science wouldn't be nearly as strong, just because by using the equipment and by using the lab, I'm able to like fully experience real scientific experiments. The study of science here at Ponoho is like a basis for higher learning of similar sciences. I'm going to use the basis I learned here and take that with me to college and then develop it even further. Anything you teach to a second grader, you have to give them opportunities to explore, to manipulate, to just mess around with the materials. And I think being able to go to Gates, these children are doing their first science experiments in first and second grade. I think just giving kids this wonderful hands-on experience at a young age is really important. Their love for science will probably be with them for the rest of their lives. The study of science is a passion of mine, and Punahou has given me a, a really good foundation for it. I'm grateful to have this opportunity, and it has been eye-opening. It's very heartening to see that people care about the students to offer us a building like this. <laughs>